So this video is sponsored by my friend and neighbour Jim, who's donated this Keurig that spilled coffee all over his kitchen and no longer seems to work. So I filled it up with water, plugged it in, instructions look easy enough, let's see what it does. No, nope, no, nope, doesn't seem to be doing anything. No, nope, that feels pretty dead to me. That is a non-working coffee machine. So, let's take it apart. So the first step in taking something apart is finding all the screws and removing them one by one. Once it's unscrewed, the panel just slides off. And looking inside, you can see all the tubes, wires, control boards. And I recognize that smell. It ain't coffee. That's the smell of something that's burned up. So, let's continue taking this thing apart and investigating. So, I'll take off the other panel by sliding it down and taking a look underneath. Well, all looks clean in there. No sign of any leaked coffee getting inside the machine. So, let's just continue taking things apart. We've got these hidden little screws that we need to just pop up and undo. It looks like we're going to have to channel my inner beast to get inside. It's putting up a bit of a fight. But after some choice words, we're now fully inside the machine. And you can see all of the tubes and pumps and circuit boards. I didn't see any evidence of damage on the front of these boards. So let's take a look at this guy right here. Let's take a look at the back of the main board. So this chip is apparently some fancy kind of voltage regulator. And as you can see, under higher magnification, it has had a bad day. So I'm not sure whether the burned out component caused the coffee to overflow or the coffee overflowing caused the component to burn out. That might remain a mystery and it may not even be the root cause of the problem. So now that I know it's not going to work, I tore it all apart to have a look at the inner workings of a Keurig. So here you can see that the water from the reservoir goes in and the water level can be detected by the sensor. So this pump has a sensor that gives feedback as to how much fluid is being pumped through it and it pumps the water into the heating reservoir where it's heated by the electric element. And the air pump goes through this pressure regulator pressurizing the heating container and pushing out the hot water. This is a mystery tube. I'm not sure what it does but the thing it connects to is just a blank stub. And then the water is then pumped out of the heating vessel and this is a solenoid controlled valve that controls whether the hot water goes to the K-cup or the drip filter. So thanks again, Jim, for donating this coffee maker. I've learned something new and we can be guaranteed that this will not be spilling coffee over anybody's kitchen ever again. Thanks for watching.